Well, as educators continue getting vaccinated, we're taking a look at how Macon private school leaders are helping their staff get the shot. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker is joining us live from First Presbyterian Day School to tell us more about their plans. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, First Presbyterian Day School is confident in the local resources and health departments to vaccinate their staff instead of having a distribution site of their own. And that's a similar decision other major Macon private school leaders are making, leaving it up to their teachers to decide whether to get the shot. If you were my fish, I would take you to school for sure. First Presbyterian Day School teacher Robin Washburn is willing to do whatever it takes to keep teaching her first grade students in person. I was excited to get my first vaccine. I just had it on Monday. Um, I know that it's important for them to be here, and so I need to stay healthy for my students. FPD head of school John Patterson says most of their staff members want to get vaccinated, and many already have. The teachers who've had them done have expressed how efficient that this group of people who are doing these at the health department are uh, are getting them done. So we're just pushing our people to the, to the local areas. We will not offer them here at our school. Uh, we just don't feel need to do that. After talking with local health leaders, Stratford Academy head of school Logan Bolds is taking a similar approach. Our plan was to allow our teachers to go get it on their own. Substitute teachers and administrators would be on hand to cover those classes, knowing that we would have several out all at once going to get it. We wondered how would, how would this all work out? I think we were sort of anxious what the plan would be. But then when we learned we would just sign up when we could, Everybody that I know, everybody that I know in the, on the staff has done that, and it's just been an incredibly easy process. Tattnall Square Academy sent us an email explaining a similar plan to provide information and allow time for teachers to get appointments. These educators hope it'll bring us one step closer to normalcy. I think the vaccine has provided just a deep breath air of saying, man, um, we're getting towards the near the end of this this epidemic. What does a a post-COVID era school look like? And those are the conversations we're having right now. Now Stratford aims to have their teachers vaccinated by the end of April. Mount DeSales President David Held sent a statement saying that most of their teachers are already vaccinated, but they are going to have the You Save It Pharmacy staff on their campus next week for the staff members who have yet to get their shots. And St. Joseph's Catholic School wasn't able to give us a response by our deadline. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Glad to see so many people getting vaccinated. Thank you, Pepper. All the schools we spoke to say they're not mandating vaccinations, just strongly encouraging them.